Dobry den, doklatov. It is my honor to represent the United States of America in the Czech Republic with you today. I had hoped to be in Klatovy in person this year, but our shared struggle against COVID-19 requires me to reach out to you only virtually. Even though World War II was 75 years ago, none of our families was unaffected by the conflict. In my own family, my grandfathers both left their families and supported the American war effort in the Pacific. My family also lost my grandfather's brother on the beaches of Normandy in our allied attempt to liberate Europe. This year, we are commemorating two very important anniversaries. We pause today to pay respect to the brave men and women, Americans, Czechs, and many others who fought together 75 years ago to defeat fascism. Today, we mark 75 years since the liberation of Klatovy and the end of the brutal war that devastated a large part of the world, including Czechoslovakia. We are also celebrating the 30th anniversary of our ability to share this commemoration with you. Ever since the Velvet Revolution in 1989, our embassy has proudly joined Czechs in commemorating the U.S. Army's liberation of southwestern Bohemia in 1945. The American people are grateful for your ongoing commemoration of the U.S. role in liberating this country. You honor our friendship with your tributes to the generation who sacrificed for freedom. These soldiers laid the foundation for the peace, security, and prosperity that we enjoy today. Indeed, America was here to help 75 years ago. America is here today, now, and America will be here tomorrow. As we reflect on the past, let us also look forward. We face different challenges now, but we must never lose sight of the principles for which that generation fought. Freedom, security, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Our duty is to respect their sacrifice and defend these principles, Czechs and Americans, friends then and now, and now as NATO allies, we stand united and remain eternally committed to the pledge, never forget, never again. Čest jejich památce.